Well, folks, out here on Shawnee Mission Lake, trying to catch some trout. They just stocked it about a week ago and had a pretty bad front blow through. And as you can see, the lake was iced over. It still kind of is. But that, that's good. That means water temperature is cold. Trout should be biting. And uh, I can paddle through pretty good. So going to the back of the creek. There's a ton of people here fishing for them. So let's go catch them. There's one. Ah, it's just a small rainbow. I'm not gonna keep him. He's... So how'd y'all do? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Every once in a while they move by. Yeah. You get many hits over here. I caught one. Just a small one. They seem to run the right along the edge of the weed. Yeah. Hope oh, had him swipe at it. That's a good one. You're so slimy, you can't grab him. Stringer. It's day two for them trout, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get after them. How we doing? Pretty good. Caught any? Oh yeah? Awesome. <laughs> Totally by accident. Yeah. yeah. What about yourself? I uh, just got out here, but two days ago I caught a few trout. Yeah. Are you fishing jigs? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they're down here. I mean, I catch them every spring down here. But yeah. I haven't, I haven't caught one yet. They yeah. hug that grass really tight. If you hear dogs, there's a little dog park nearby, so. Yes, sir. Yep.
Well, bam. All right, folks, back out here. Got the water on you. Alrighty, let's go catch some trout. Feels like a bass, unless it's a trout. Hey, I know my fish. Just a wee little guy, but my biggest bass of the year. It's kind of embarrassing. Jeez and rice. Finally. Whew. Man, I've been searching all afternoon for them. There we go. Look at that pretty fish. They're beautiful. Oh, dang it. Jeez, oh, they near took the rod out of my hand. Alrighty folks, it's gonna be the end of the fishing. I did, I ended up with these three trout. And uh, gonna take them home and fillet them. And uh, I'll actually take the camera inside with me and I'll show you guys how I, how I do fillet my trout. So, see you guys in a second back at the house.
Okay, folks, back at the house. Here we got the table set up. I like to set down a little, little layer of trash bags just so blood doesn't get on the table. I'm gonna clean the table anyway, but so it's not super messy. Then I got a cutting board, fillet knife, paper towels just in case. Got the fish. Okie dokie. Gonna grab one of them. This this board is nice. It's got the little clamp for the tail. Maybe if I can get it up in there. There we go. All right. So your discretion is advised. If you do not want to see blood or inside of fish, click off right now skip to the end of the video okay for the rest of you guys uh, i make one cut here below or behind the gill plate and then take your knife and point it towards the back in there and cut start cutting along the back of the fish and you know if i get a little meat down here that's great but there's not much meat down here so i'm not really focused on that but i just Well, I missed a bit of the tail. We can go back in there and clean it up. Then you just flip the fish over. Same thing, just on the other side. There you go. Okay, so one fish down. Now, I'm gonna turn off the camera, do the other ones, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we got all the fillets off the fish. Now, again, I am no pro at cleaning fish, cleaning trout, because so I don't do it enough, but, uh, Take it off the skin, or you can leave it on the skin too. If you just bake it with the skin on, it peels right off. But I prefer just all the meat straight off the skin. All you gotta do is cook it and you can eat it all. And uh, I'll, I'll just freeze this. So you're gonna make a cut down, down to the skin, and then point, put your finger on the piece that you're not cutting and just turn that blade parallel with the skin. Start cutting, and then as you move your knife, move your fingers just behind the blade to get as much meat as possible. Just pull that skin tight. Make that blade travel a lot smoother across. You want to find the right knife angle so you're not cutting through the skin, but also so you're not losing meat. Bam. That's a good fillet right there. Alrighty. So, that's the gist of how to clean a rainbow trout. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video of me fishing and, I don't know, maybe you guys learned something. Uh, so, 
hit that like button if you enjoyed and maybe hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this and thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one peace